We're back. Oh, wow, Shane. <laughs> you just went right for it. This is 2024. Yep. We are throwing out our filter. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. Actually, we're not. <laughs> My New Year's resolution is to be as inappropriate as I can be on this channel. Great. Here we go. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. So our last video, or one of our last videos, uh, was mid-December. I think it was December 11th for our final day of Vlogmas, and then we had one more podcast episode. Yes. Which, you know, kind of counts. But, like, we have been off, off the radar for quite a bit, and we have some reasons why. This video, we are coming back. We are in it to win it. We are in it to win it. But we're going to explain ourselves first. And that has been released from prison. <laughs> uh, that's the big news. Uh, <laughs> And I don't know if she's ready to talk about it yet, but I am. Prison is not a part of this story, but... So what happened was... There's a lot. She went around our neighborhood impersonating Mrs. Claus. <laughs> and she would go up to the homes of children and knock on the door, ask to see their presents under the tree, choose the biggest one, <laughs> and say that Santa's elves needed to fix it. And then she would take the present for herself. <laughs> Did you come up with this right now, or did you plan this before we started filming? I had the idea like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I've been very excited to get to it. All right, you need to lay down. You need to lay down. 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 You know down. She doesn't do it. So if you're wondering how our last two months have gone, we have a little story for you that happened this morning that really sums up the energy of the past two months. It's like an analogy. Yeah, it's just a perfect like encapsulation of the past two months of our lives. This morning, it's going great. Chloe went outside into our yard, came back after about 10 minutes, covered in a brown, putrid substance. The stinkiest <laughs> substance I've ever smelled. Wasn't poop. Filled the home. Wasn't, I don't know what the hell it was or where she found it, but she rolled all and it came inside and immediately we were like, <laughs> like it was deadly so we had to give her a bath and she's a big dog i had to lift her into the tub bathe her it was a whole a fun morning. ordeal and that really sums up how it's been going we should us. just tell you that story and be like now just extrapolate that <laughs> over the last two months and that's pretty much what we've been dealing with do you want to start with before like before vlogmas the bad streak started so yeah vlogmas was supposed to redeem us it was and we couldn't do it because, and then it didn't work well okay so let's go back to like mid-november yeah hannah and i find out very unexpectedly that we need to go back to minnesota for ivf reasons yeah we're not going to get into that and what happened yeah today we're gonna make another video about that that's a whole other a whole other thing. giant video uh we'll do that soon yeah. but we found out we need to leave and we need to leave like immediately yeah. to get to an appointment that was like time sensitive. The day that we're supposed to leave, our sewer explodes here in LA. Yeah. And that was, we were delayed by a few days, poop everywhere. Yep. As you can see, Chloe's poop story this morning. Really, it was a perfect example. Yeah. Uh, so we were delayed by poop. Yep, cleaning up the poo, cleaning paying up poop. for the sewer to be repaired, which our is just a ridiculous amount of money. Driveway had to be dug up. It was really fun. <laughs> Guys, Amazing. it was so much fun. Uh, then we get home. Well, hold on. Oh. We had horrible Thanksgiving on the road. Oh. So we were driving back with Liz. Liz was in a separate car because we had lots of stuff we had to bring. Yeah. Um, and on Thanksgiving, we happened to be in Oklahoma? No. Kansas? I don't know where I we were. I don't even know what state it was. in Colorado. It was the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And we were like, oh, Thanksgiving. Yeah. Like, we don't, we're in a hotel. We should order some sort of like festive food. So we ordered the Thanksgiving meal from Cracker Barrel. It was like the only restaurant that was open. Yes. And available. I think we already complained about this during Vlogmas because Shane cannot get over his hatred for Cracker Barrel, but that really was a horrible Thanksgiving. Cracker, the meal was not okay. Cracker Barrel is fine. It's wow, fine. Wow, that's the nicest thing you've ever said about them. But this particular meal was so atrocious. Yeah. It. I mean, we have a photo, but like, it was just watery broth. It was bad. It was lumps of food and watery broth. Shane's not done yet. He's not over it. <laughs> but right, we so had a We get, we get home. This hasn't been a great, like, past two weeks, but we decide, you know what? Let's do Vlogmas. Revitalize ourselves. Like, this will be good. <laughs> so we do the 11 days. And I think on, like, day 11 or 12, the 12th was my birthday, maybe on, like, the 13th, we had some issues with IVF. And it just took us completely. We were like, we cannot dedicate the amount of time that vlogmas requires to vlogmas again we'll get into all the details of ivf in a separate ivf video because yeah. it's a it's a very involved story Big. 
Um, but that was really why we stopped Vlogmas. And then we just kind of laid low for the rest of the of December. Couldn't really get back into it. Yeah, but everything just fell off. Yeah. Like the whole, our minds, our emotions, yeah. everything just felt tired. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like that Christmas was lovely. But like we decided months ago that Hannah and I weren't going to do gifts this year. Yeah. And that was good. Like, you know, it was fine. Um, but it was also weird. Yeah, it was like, just an odd Christmas. Christmas morning, we were like, oh, yeah. what do we do? <laughs> and it was fine. Like, Liz got us, uh, the whole family, matching pajamas. Yeah. So like, it was still cute. We got gifts for George and Liz. But, you know, it was just a little bit off. Everything felt weird. Everything has felt a little weird. And then, like, added to the weirdness, we very unexpectedly got invited to Las Vegas mm -hmm. with Paul and Teresa for New Year's. And we've never done Vegas before. So we were like, that'll be fun. It's a different experience. It's, you know, not something that we would typically be into, but like, we'll try it. Uh, so we went there, we drove there and back, which was six days of driving. That was to... another just like frantic and stressful, yeah. like unexpected thing. Yeah. Like, we, we were gonna fly, but then the logistics of that were too annoying. Yeah. So we were like, all right, we'll just drive three days. Three days there and, and three days back. back. Yeah. yeah. But the actual time in Vegas was really fun. We ate a lot of really good food. Yeah, had a lot of fun with Hulk Rosemary. Well. And I liked Vegas a lot more than I thought I would. You know, I just thought I would be like, this is too much, but it was really fun. Yeah, I'm still not quite my vibe. Well, it's not Here, my... here's, here's an example. When we checked into our hotel, they warned us, let us know, oh. with a literal warning flyer, that there was an outdoor all night music festival. It was from 6 p.m. to 4 a.m. At Karim, directly outside of our windows of our hotel room. Yeah. And that the music, the electric, yeah. you know, dubstep music, may vibrate the windows. And it did. It did. They vibrated. They vibrated like it was inside of my head. Yeah. So sleeping was a bit rough. Yep. But you don't get a Vegas to sleep. No, you don't. Just well, not we, really. we wanted a lot. Wow. <laughs> That's why it's not my vibe. It's <laughs> That's too true. exciting. But yeah. it, was, it was a lot of fun. And like walking through the casino, it was like what I said to Shane when we were there was that Vegas is very sexual. Like everyone there, <laughs> Is, like seems to be very sexual like people would walk like men would walk by and be like oh looking good like that just yeah. doesn't happen like I just it was very shocking to me and one time a man uh, walked yeah, yeah. by charisma and I were in front and then Shane and Cole were in the back this is my favorite encounter and he walked by and he was like oh damn like he just said something like he just said oh hey ladies yeah to, he, like to you too be like ooh and then like he was like swooping his head swooped we walked by him and then he like was right in front of Shane and he like saw me yeah and he literally goes Oh shit! <laughs> and I was like, "Yep, yeah, just doing my thing." Yeah, we were like, "Oh, that's one reaction." I didn't mean to alarm you, so <laughs> please it's don't like, say that. Oh. Please don't talk about my wife. <laughs> so I terrified that man. Yeah, you uh, really but, scared him. Yeah, that was like a good example of Vegas. Lots yeah. of that. Yeah. Um, but we, but had, we had a lot had of a fun. Time. Where are we? We are inside the belly of the beast. The sphere. The sphere. <laughs> So 
So after Vegas, we went home for my mom's 70th birthday. Happy birthday again, Liz. That was January 8th, so we knew we wanted to be home for that, and yeah. that was really fun. Yeah, there's nothing negative about that. No. We had a nice family dinner at an Italian restaurant, great time. Yeah. Um, and great to celebrate it was his 70th. Yeah, it was great. And then after my mom's birthday was over, we drove back to LA. And yes. you know, every time when we did the out to Vegas, that drive, that was six days out and then like taken out. And then the drive to LA was five days taken out. So like yeah. all of those days are days that we can't film, can't edit, like yeah. aren't posting. So just a lot of the month was spent unable to- Driving. To do, yeah, just driving like in the car. She out of our drive back to home, Back to Minnesota. It's like 60, yeah. Oh, yeah, more. Then the Vegas drives, then yeah. this. We've just been driving a lot. Driving for like two weeks. But we do feel like refreshed, yeah. I would say. I think we're back. We're, we're feeling like our old selves. Yeah. So we are finally back here in LA getting resettled into our life. Yes. Feeling really good and motivated again. Yep. It's warm. Not the other thing. It was freezing. That helps. It was like negative 17, <laughs> negative 25 with wind shell. It was really cold in Minnesota. <laughs> Sunny out right now. I'm about to go sit in the sun. Yep. But we're back. We're better than ever. Yep. And we're happy to be making videos again. Absolutely. Thank you for your patience. Yes. Thanks, everyone. Sorry. Yeah.